Happy Victory Monday, Pack Pack Nation. Happy Victory Monday. Um, it feels good to be one and zero to start this season off. Um, but this video is not about the Packers. Um, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do some videos every week uh, talking about the Mike McCarthy Cowboys this season after every game. Um, so let's talk about the Rams game. Cowboys visiting the Los Angeles Rams at the newly built Sophie Stadium in L.A. Um, the Rams, the Rams beat the Cowboys twenty to seventeen, um, and basically what I've seen in that game. I seen a better Dak Prescott. You know, his feet work looked his feet work looked a little a little better than it did opposed to him being coached by Jason Garrett. Um he was putting the ball in the right spots for receivers to catch the ball. Um I didn't really see any bad passes from Dak. Uh but The thing that hurt the Cowboys the most was Mike McCarthy's play calling. As far as the defense, with the, the that 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 defensive line out in Smith, man, he played football yesterday. That dude for be to be missing for five years out of the out of the season after dealing with the turmoil with the 49ers and him making a bomb threat at the airport and you know the fights going on at his house and him losing his girlfriend to Cap Colin Kaepernick. Um, yeah, man, uh, Alvin Smith really impressed me. He really impressed the, the Dallas defensive line really impressed me, man. Um, they finally was able to contain the, the, the contain the, uh, run attack from the Rams for, for a while in the third quarter when they, when they came back after halftime, they kind of contained them a little bit. But like I said, man, with the Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, and Matt Lafleur offense, it's I mean they have they have the best design run plays in the league. That's why Aaron Jones is so successful behind that scheme. That's why Ty Gurley was so successful behind that scheme. You know what I mean? So, um, and a plethora of running backs that that's been under uh, Kyle Shanahan, it just seems. To work, you know, he always had some good running backs in that scheme. Um, but back to Mike McCarthy, you know, some of the plays he did, like that little, that fourth down play where CD Lamb didn't. Good job by the Rams defense by stand, standing standing a ground and staying staying home to uh, not let CD Lamb, you know, reach the uh, first down marker. When he ran that that little in route drag route across the middle of the field, I mean Dak should have threw it earlier, so so uh, CD could kind of you know wiggle his way upfield. But you know, great play by the defender to um, stop stops uh, CD Lamb from uh, turning the ball upfield and um, canceling out that down to have a turnover on down. See, that's that's the difference with Mike McCarthy, man. You know, Mike McCarthy is, you know, even though it's the first game, like we have to keep going back to that. This is the first game of the season. It wasn't no preseason. But I think the Dallas Cowboys play pretty well on the road. You know what I mean? Under a new coach, under, a, under a, 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 you know, retraining and retooling Dak Prescott. Because that's basically what I've seen. He looked like it, uh, it was a lot of throws that Dak would make last year that he didn't make this year like he held on to the ball it was one play where he looked like he was gonna rip it and he said nah that's gonna be an interception so good job for mike mccarthy for keeping the turnover down the turnovers down because i don't think did Dak throw a pick i'm not sure if Dak threw a pick i don't remember if Dak threw a pick in that game I'm not sure if he threw one. He might have threw one. It's Dak Prescott. He might have threw a pick. I'm trying to remember if somebody intercepted the ball or anything like that. I think he did throw a pick. So, 
my fault if I, I I'm, I'm I forget. Um, you know, I'm so amped up about the Packers, but I did see a difference in his game. I saw a huge difference in Dak Dak Prescott's game. It looked like things slowed down a little bit. The way that he was moving in the pocket. I mean, he still can't throw on the run for shit, but it was one play where the 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 pocket kind of broke down and Dak shuffled his feet, moved his feet real well, and he zipped it right across the field to uh I think it was Michael Gallup or uh Amari Cooper. But you know, I was I, I was at my homeboy house, man. Shout out to my homeboy Todd and my homeboy Raymond. You know what I'm saying? I was at my homie Raymond house and shit um and I was like halfway falling asleep <laughs> watching this game. I'm not even gonna lie, you know. But I, I did pay attention to Dak. I wanted to see how well Mike McCarthy can coach him up, knowing that Dak has been through all of these things he's been going through with the death of his brother, his mom, and uh, trying to hold it down for his family and shit like that, and trying to get a contract from the Cowboys. But I think for what he did the first game of the season, I thought Dak played played up to uh, the Mike McCarthy standards. It's just Mike McCarthy held the Cowboys back. He should have kicked the damn field goal. I mean, I would have tied the game up. He would have had a chance to play in overtime and possibly win the game. You know, Zeke was having a good game. Amari Cooper was starting to come around, even though he walked. He was uh, even though he played hurt. But once again, there we go with Mike McCarthy making dumb decisions. Dumb decisions. Just kick the field goal. You don't. This is the first game of the season. There is no need for you to show your balls. You know what I mean? It's not even a divisional opponent. It's the fucking Rams. You know, it was sad to see. You know, pieces of the the the. the I think the the Cowboys play better without Lathan Vanderesh and Sean Lee. I think they just play better. You know, uh, um. Jalen uh, Smith, he just got to slow down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He be moving too fast. He just got to slow down a little bit. Now, I'm not trying to sit here and critique the Cowboys, but the Cowboys, it's the first game. People need to relax. You know, I got all my Cowboy homies hitting me up. Man, see, this is what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Dak this, Dak this, Dak losses this game. Any other quarterback would have won this game. No, man. It's a team sport. And if the coach on the team is not making the right decisions to keep you within the game to win it, then it's on the coach. Mike McCarthy deserves all the blame for this game for not kicking it on third, on fourth and three. You wanted to go for it on fourth and short, man. You should have kicked a field goal, put pressure on the Rams to score. We already know how Jared Goff gets once he, once he, the pass rush started getting to Jared Goff. That was another thing too late in the game. I believe the Cowboys could have won this game if Mike McCarthy would have just played the right way, man. Instead of trying to show his show his toughness and impress Jerry Jones, like bro, just kick the fucking field goal and live to fight another down, man. But Mike, but Matt Lafleur went for went for fourth. And, yeah, that was earlier in the game, not late in the game. Mike McCarthy did that shit like what early in the fourth quarter. Like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Kick the field goal. Put pressure on the Rams to try to go back down there and score. It ain't like they they feel they it ain't like they field goal kicker was kicking great the whole game. The motherfucker was missing kicks. Huh, Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy. But until next week, we'll revisit Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy and what he does with the Cowboys next week. So be prepared for that <laughs> until then it's cage tv remember to like subscribe and comment <laughs> and go pack go